Now let's look at full compensations. So with full compensations, we're going to start seeing our pH return to normal. And these are usually more chronic states. pH 7.35 to 7.45 is normal. So when we look at this ABG, we look at the pH and we're like, okay, it looks pretty good. But then when we look at the CO2 and the bicarb, we're like, well, they're both thrown off. So what could possibly be going on? So let's look at the acidotic states first. In the acidotic states, what is actually occurring is you're getting that 7.35 to 7.39, the lower end of the pH. It matches with the bicarb, and then your CO2 is compensating for it. In the metabolic alkalemia, your bicarb is going up, your CO2 should be going up, and it's going to be the higher range of the pH. When you're looking at this, and you're looking at these numbers, and the pH is normal, but the CO2 and bicarb are off, you have to think to yourself, where did this start? Was this an alkalosis process that fully compensated, or was it an acidosis process that fully compensated? And when we think about this, we look at the range of the pH. If the pH is on the lower side, 7.35, 7.45, first problem was acidemia. If it's on the higher side, 7.41 to 7.45, first process was an alkalemia. So you have to figure out with the CO2 or the bicarb, which one is the problem. Is it the bicarb or is it the CO2? And does it match up with the acidotic state or the metabolic state? And then you can figure out where your first problem is or where your actual problem is.